All right, well, communities across middle Georgia are speaking out against white supremacy in the wake of the riots in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend. Let's go to 41 NBC's Joy Dukes, who was in Milledgeville earlier this evening at the anti-hate rally, and she has more. Joy. January, Milledgeville residents are doing more than just rallying. They're looking for ways to understand the deeper issue behind the hate. They believe it's systematic inequalities in today's society. But organizers say solving that nationwide problem starts locally. Not only stand with Charlottesville, stand with Milledgeville, and let's start having some uncomfortable conversations. Structural racism of poverty and inequality in Baldwin County is obvious for anyone to see if they really look. Rachel McClure wants people to open their eyes. Friday and Saturday's events in Charlottesville aren't necessarily new, um, but they did remind us of what our mission was and we wanted to respond. That's why she and others in Milledgeville came together for a rally at Georgia College and State University to show Charlottesville that they aren't in this alone. It's so detrimental to our society. Someone is already dead, 19 people are injured, some in critical condition and it's just heartbreaking that we are still having this discussion. But Tuesday's discussion wasn't just about how minorities could fight racism and inequality. It was about how white people could play a role too. In situations of injustice, we can choose to stay safe or we can choose to speak out. And uh, safe feels really good um, in the short term, but in the long term, I think we are accountable to history and to our children. They compared their city to Charlottesville, two college towns relatively close in population. Rally goers agreed to take on the collective responsibility needed if they truly want to see change. There's just a lot of ignorance in the world and a lot of hate and unjust prejudice that is very ill-founded and it's just not right and I'm trying to be a positive voice. Opening people's eyes will require opening their hearts first. McClure says it won't be an easy or comfortable fix, but they're willing to do the work. At the rally, people were asked to go up to someone they didn't know and share a conversation, ask those tough questions, and figure out what people from each race needed in order to better understand one another. All right, thank you so much tonight, Joy, in the studio. They ended the ceremony, by the way, at Milledgeville's Georgia College and State University by singing James Weldon Johnson's Lift Every Voice and Sing.